Hello, spacious women. Okay, you're here briefly again in my sister's backyard. Traveling, visiting family. I've been spending time with my month old niece in the last week. She's so adorable. I forget how sacredly, divinely adorable babies are, tiny babies are. So I just want to briefly um, remind you to ask for what you want because mothers are so used to doing so much and holding so much like mentally and also practically like in terms of all the things there are to do. Sorry if it's really um, sunny and you can't see me. Um, but and, and then we're also prone to carrying a lot of resentment around for the load that we carry. But there's a couple of things that you're responsible for in that. And one of them is firstly getting clear on what it is that you actually want to need, particularly the requests that you have. Like what kind of help do you actually want? How do you want other people around you, like a partner or your children or um, people at work or people in your community, how do you actually want them to support you? And that begins with tuning into what you're actually feeling and what you're actually needing. You need to do that a lot. That's your responsibility. And then that gives you the information to know what kinds of requests you have of them. And then the next bit that's your responsibility is actually asking for it. It's so common for mothers to carry around this resentment and this heaviness and this burden of responsibility but when you actually reflect on it, realise that, well, I haven't actually been asking. So I haven't actually given them much of a chance to not let me down, to actually be there for me. So that's the first thing you're responsible for. And when I say you're responsible, just like what I said in the video yesterday, um, responsible is not, is also not a bit, responsible is empowering. It's not like you being responsible for like, oh, there's another thing I'm responsible for. No, that's just you taking your power back. That's something that you do because you can, because it's empowering. And another thing you're responsible for is actually receiving the help. I've spoken with so many mothers and I can relate to it myself who have really needed help, but when it's actually there and someone comes and like wants to really give to them, they find it really hard to receive it. And there's like resistance and this, like, oh, I can't, I shouldn't, I, um, it's not okay to, and they put blocks up to receiving. So it's your responsibility to actually really receive the help that's there, whether you've asked for it or not. If, you, if it meets your needs and you actually, it serves you, it supports you, then really receive it. So the first thing is tune in to what you're really feeling and needing. Practice asking for it. And when you actually know what you're feeling and needing, it's way easier to know how to express it. The basics, like the basics of nonviolent communication is expressing your feeling, which is an actual sensation you have within your body, like I'm feeling tired, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling exhausted, I'm feeling sensitive and an actual need that you have, like I really need support, it's a big one. I really need rest. I really need to feel like um, I'm a part of a team. I really need respect, whatever it is. Like needs are those, those basic things that no one can really argue with. Like if you say something like, I need you to be different, that might be something that is hard for someone to receive. But if I just, I really need space or I really need respect, that's understandable. And then just tuning into what kind of simple, doable request do you have and asking them. And receive because you're worthy of receiving and people actually want to give to you, but it's hard to give to you when you can't open up and receive and receiving is an energetic experience like actually start with things like if people give you a compliment don't by default kind of put the guards up or um 
excuse why that's not true. Like actually go, thank you and really receive it and let it in. And practice receiving if someone offers to help you because there is so much support for you out there in the world. And if you want to go deeper with this or anything that Lisa and I talk about in this group and add on our page, we would be honoured to meet with you in a one-to-one -one session. Like we offer them, there's no pressure to work with us further. You can if you choose to, which every one of our clients has said is life-changing and powerful and deep, but it's not something that you have to do. Like we, we want to get to know you. We want to serve you. We want to connect deeply with the women in this community. So reach out if you're ready to. Oh, hello, Lisa. I'm, I'm just ending. <laughs> Enjoy LA. Mwah! Goodbye, everyone.